My name is Forrest Wright. I'm an MBA graduate from the Rady School of Management here at UC San Diego. I want to warn you about a few things. I'm actually making this so that uh, you know why not to come to the Rady School of Management. The first reason is because it's new. I actually was a member of the first full-time graduating class. That was in 2007. That's not that long ago. It's a new school. It's practically a startup itself. So here you are. It's, it's entrepreneurial right when you walk in the door. So there's nothing safe. It's super risky. You don't know what's going to happen. It's just crazy. And you know, to be quite honest, the students have a lot of pool here. We actually influence things. We got solar panels put on our building. You know, that's just a lot to do when you're trying to learn about accounting and finance. And it's just, it's just chaos. So again, I wouldn't do it. School's new. I mean, for God's sake, look at this, this building. Man, another problem going to the Rady School is the glare of the perpetual sun. It makes it really hard to use your iPhone or read your laptop, which isn't good for MBAs. There's another problem with going to the Rady School that I bet they didn't tell you about in the admissions material, and that is it changes you. So, for instance, I went to school with this guy. He was a Marine. Nice, cushy job, spraying down poppy fields in Afghanistan, gets to the Rady School. Two years later, he's like Mr. Solar Power and working with a company and building solar groves like these right on campus. It's crazy. If you, if you want to stay like nice and secure and just get that next job up, don't go to the Rady School. I don't want you to get the wrong idea, think I'm super negative or anything, but there's another problem with the Rady School and that's its location. It's here in San Diego, specifically La Jolla. I'm standing on the bluffs above Black's Beach, which is pretty much across the street in a parking lot from the business school. How are we supposed to get any homework done here? It's ridiculous. I mean, here we are supposed to be learning the mean standard deviation frontier, and yet, like, surfs up. It's not possible. It's only, the school really only works for the most focused individuals. Here we are at the Salk Institute, also right across the street from the Rady School. It's chock full of Mensa up in here. And that brings me to my next problem with going to the Rady School of Management. People are too smart, really faculty, students, uh, it's a bit much. When I went to school at the Ray School of Management, you know, I'm just a film student. I wanted to get my MBA. At the first day I get there, I meet up with this guy who has 300 genome patents. I barely knew what a patent was, let alone a genome. What am I supposed to talk to him about for two years? I'm, well, I mean, actually we did do a few projects together, but regardless, unless you want to work with really challenging, interesting, bright people, don't go to the Ray School. Now here I am at the UCSD Scripps Institute of Oceanography, which brings me to my final reason why you should not go to the Rady School of Management. Because the Rady School of Management is part of UCSD, which doesn't have a football team. And that means there's absolutely nothing to do here. I mean, other than homework and studying and learning and classes and extracurricular stuff, and this thing that we have called Lab to Market, you know, where you get together with your classmates and you actually start a business, usually in tech or biotech or whatever, and then you, you present the business, you pitch it to a panel full of venture capitalists and angel investors. But, I mean, other than that, there's just really not much to do here. So, you know, to sum it all up, don't come to the Rady School of Management. You're not gonna like it. There's nothing to do. People are too smart. It's too new, it's too entrepreneurial too innovative, and quite frankly, it's just too beautiful.